What's up folks, I'm Mitch with Stone Coat Epoxy. We're making some white and gray marble with a touch of blue earth. I'm gonna show you how fast you can make epoxy countertops with Stone Coat Epoxy. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. To make that mixing super easy and to add a little bit of selling, I'm gonna use our epoxy dispersion fluid. Just a tiny bit into the cup is all you need. The dispersion fluid makes mixing that metallic powder, incorporating it into the epoxy instantly. And it will add a really cool selling effect to the epoxy. To tint the epoxy white, we're using Stone Coat's liquid epoxy dye. A little bit of this goes a long way. Okay, we're gonna take our mixed and tinted epoxy and pour it out in the center of our project. All right, so what I do here is I create like a little palette. I kind of have a messy table, but I'm gonna take my spray paint, make a little spot, and then dip your brush into that. Get a little bit of that paint on your brush, and then we're gonna take that and chop it into our top. You come bring that color and feather it off into the, into the white. Ooh, this is gonna be real subtle and pretty. That's what I'm talking about. So bam, that's too dark. Come grab some white, bring it in. Grab that blue, walk it into some white. That's still too dark. Ooh, beautiful. And I'm gonna kinda do a vein, bam, this way. I'm gonna go heavy blue, heavy gray here, heavy solstice blue. And then I'm gonna feather those colors out to either side, keeping it kind of dark right here. So just grab some of this blue and walk it out. I'm just gonna drizzle a little of this blue. I'm gonna start very little. See what it does for me. Okay. That's all I'm starting with. Now I'm gonna use that same chop brush and meld these colors together by chopping. And I'm using very, very little pressure. I'm just, just grabbing it with the very bottom of that brush. Okay, I'm digging it. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Dude, the, uh, the blue and that gray is going well together, I think. And like, if that blue's too loud, just pick up some white and come back over it. I really like using that heel, the bottom of that brush. It feathers out, it spits out your epoxy in a, in a random, natural fashion where you can add that color without over melding or over mixing. Dang, I'm loving it. Maybe I should throw a little clear alcohol on this piece, dude. That's a pro tip, guys, 91% isopropyl alcohol will take your piece to the next level. If you think it's beautiful, you missed a little of that clear, it can add selling, it melds and moves that epoxy and the colors together in a way that you can't achieve unless you missed a little alcohol on. So I'm gonna get rid of this air, and then I think I'm gonna miss this section just to see how it looks. It might look fantastic, and I'll hit my whole project. But really, I've, I've made two countertops right here. That first one with a little bit of that chopped solstice blue, that job was complete. That looked fantastic. Eight, eight out of 10 of your customers will be like, or level it up. You have a, a little bit pickery. The customer has some blues in their house. They have an accent color. You can tie that in there, chop it in, tie their decor to their countertops. You can't get that anywhere else. That is a customization that you get with Stone Coat Epoxy. Your customer's gonna be all smiles. All right, let's get that air out of here. Same process, just sweep the surface. So I use these Zep sprayers. You can pick them up at the giant orange box store, otherwise known as the Home Depot. They have an adjustable nozzle. 
so you could give it heavy or a nice mist. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. Now I'm gonna just mist this section. Go, oh, there we go. That's selling a little bit. I'm gonna do the whole piece. This adds a little bit of selling action to it. Not too much. Guys, this job is complete. This epoxy will be cured and dried in 18 to 24 hours. Tomorrow, I'll come back and either add a clear coat of epoxy or I'll add the ultimate top coat, depending on what your customer wants. If the grays and blues and whites aren't your style, jump on over to the Epoxy Color Center on our website. We have hundreds of other color options. There's sure to be a few that fit your home and decor. I hope I was able to give you a little confidence to try out this epoxy technique on your countertops. All you need is a simple chop brush, a couple colors of spray paint, and you're off to the races. Thanks for watching everybody from Stone Cold Countertops. Don't forget you got this, and we'll see you on the next video.